Hey there YouTube, this is Product with Teen Shockwave and today I'll be doing a um, product opening. Uh, this time will be the uh, new Lifestorm Treasure Deck, the Realm of Life Storm. Oh wait, actually, the Realm of Light. <laughs> so um, it's, um, as always, it's always the standard price of um, $10 at any retail stores. Uh, this actually comes with 41 cards. Uh, 41, uh, I mean actually 40 cards in the main deck and one card in the extra deck which is the, uh, the new Lightsworn Synchro Monster it was actually the only Synchro Monster in the deck and uh, well, the Arch type in general this, it also comes with three other uh, new cards uh, coming out uh, first time in the TCG so uh, let's start with the um, box opening here um, As always, you get the rule book, some um, tip guides, and about how to play the deck, and as well as the mat um, play mat. Uh, looks very nice. Uh, I don't really like that they put much more effort in getting like all the um, cards into this arch type into this one mat. Um, if you guys are interested on the uh, actual like play mat itself, not this paper one, there is um, one up already um, out um, over in OCG. I believe um, it goes around like 20 to 25 dollars for the mat if you're that big fan of a fan of the uh, Light Sword Archive. So, um, alright, so let's get started with the um, pack opener here. So, front and center is the uh, Michael the arch light swarm. Uh, let's see. There has to be that um, loose string somewhere. Oh, here it is. Alright, so you get Michael. Michael, uh, this fact is basically once per turn, you can pay 1000 light points, then target one card on the field, banish that target. When this card is destroyed, you can target any number of other Light Swarm monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into your deck, and if you do, you gain 300 light points for each return card during each of your end phase, send the top 3 cards of your deck to your graveyard. So, pretty good. Pretty nice effect right there. Um, somewhat of a Kaya's um, into it. Uh, Kaya's like effect. Let's see, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a level 7 monster, so very interesting. And here's your second ultra rare card in this uh, deck, and that's basically the Light Sworn Sanctuary. Once per turn, you can send one Light Sworn monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one other Light Sworn monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Each time a card is sent from your deck to your graveyard, place one Shine Counter on this card. If a light swarm monster, if oh, if a light swarm card uh, you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can remove two shrine counters from this uh, <coughs> shrine counters from the side of the field for each of those light swarms cards instead. It's pretty interesting. Um, I liked it that it says light swarm card, not just monsters. So it's um, this is one of them that it can also uh, prevent from being destroyed, I believe. Uh, so your super rare light swarm monster uh, you're getting here is basically called I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm pronouncing it gonna be wrong, but uh, Myvira, the light swarm maiden. So when this card is normal summoned, you can add one light. Dragon type monster from your deck to your hand, whose level is less than or equal to the number of Light Swarm monster with different names in your graveyard. If this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. During each of your end phase, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> Pretty interesting effect right there. Uh, it's a spellcaster and a tuner, so it's uh, one of the cards you can get, uh, get out with uh, Michael. Uh, 
All right, here, Bobby here. Your last uh, super rare card of the deck is basically uh, Raiden, Hand of the Light Swarm. So its effect is, during your main phase, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Then if any Light Swarm monster were sent to the graveyard by this effect, this card gains 200 attack until the end phase, of, uh, until your uh, opponent's turn. You can use this effect of uh, Raiden uh, once per turn during your end phase. Send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Uh, pretty good effect. Also, again, uh, it's a it's a tuner and also a warrior, so you might may be able to play Rota with the deck with the other uh, warrior monsters in the um, the light swarm arch type. Uh, I really like it. It's it's also a nice speeder as well, it's, especially if you get the effect off. All right, so other cards you have here is. Um, uh, Agassian's Dragon, it's um, it's alright, not a big fan of it, but it's just your big beater. Judgment Dragon, as a common, it's very nice to have an easier access to uh, get Judgment Dragon uh, now. Uh, I believe um, previously it was um, a gold series, a secret rare, an OT, and it was also common in one of the, um, uh, I think the legendary um, collection. Uh, you also have this thing, whatever it is. Um, I also like I, I always liked it, her um, her special effect because it's, it acted like a, um, you know a, sort of like a Mobius where you can just target any two cards uh, instead. Uh, Jane Jane is uh, also another warrior for you to play Rota with. Oh, you played get yeah, two here, so. Lila. Lila is always a good um, stable for Light Swarm. It's also pretty good as well, and another Rota target. Um, Wolf. I see a lot of people are iffy about Wolf and the other uh, Light Swarm monster that's, um, that came out from as a promo somewhere. I, I forgot the name of it, so... But um, we also have uh, Eren. Lumina is also a stable. Arceus, uh, I believe. Uh, no, I've never seen anyone play her. Raiko is also stable in the Light Swarm deck. Honest. Light. All right, so we're going to like the light rays here. Final Iron Prism is also a good card. Uh, Fable Raven. I see a lot of people um, putting Fable Raven in some of these uh, Light Swarm builds. Also Cerebus. Zephyros, Garna, Necro Garna is, all, is a good to mix with the uh, Twilight build. And you have your Light uh, Realm of Lights, Soul Recharge, Brigade, Monster Reincarnation, Foolish Burial. Uh, I don't know what this does. Or this. What the hell is this? Uh, Begging Light is also a good card uh, to get all your uh, cards back. Uh, that you need back to your hand from the graveyard. Uh, skill successor, that's all right. And break the skill is a very good card to play in this deck because you know you mill a lot of cards in your deck, and sometimes um, it's it will be spells or trap, and uh, most of the time you have no way to get them back. But this is a nice way with also combining with um, skill prisoner, you're able to um, use the their effect uh, by removing them from the graveyard. Keep in mind that um, these kinds of effects where you have to remove the card from the rear to activate your effect, uh, it has to be on your turn. It is not it doesn't gain the spell speed too, like everyone uh, what people believe. So that's pretty much it for the deck opening of this new uh, Light Swarm deck. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, overall, I think it's a right deck. I don't see anything that would um, change the game when it comes to this current format, but who knows, I might be wrong. So, some, someone might have to top of it during the, um, the upcoming World Qualifier. If it is even legal, is it? But um, other than that, this is Parking with T-Shockwave, signing out.